Hello everybody, welcome to lesson 23 and today we will be learning how to do a 10 column worksheet. So I will be presenting how to prepare a 10 column worksheet in Microsoft Excel. However, I recommend that you do it manually dun sa 10 column worksheet na dilaw talaga. As in talagang sulat isa-isa. Gagamit lang ako ng Excel so that we will be able to do it uh, easily. Kasi if I will be uh, uh, making a video of myself writing from scratch, baka abutin tayo ng bukas, hindi pa tapos yung video. Okay? So to make it very simple but yet easy to and also easy to understand. So dito natin gagawin sa Excel. Okay? But uh, please do it po ng, uh, sa inyong uh, yellow sheets. Also, uh, a worksheet uh, that looks like this is also available in handout 12 as a continuation of our example problem which is landing a new travel services company. So, ganyan din po yung itsura ng 10 column worksheet doon. Uh, blanco lang po siya na nandun. Okay? So, I think we're ready to start. So, the 10 column worksheet, syempre from the word itself, has 10 columns. Ito po yun. Okay? Column 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8, and uh, 9 and 10. Okay? Then, nandito po sa left side yung ating mga account titles. First two columns po natin is your unadjusted trial balance. Then, next two columns po natin, lahat po ng ating adjusting entries. Iko-combine po natin yung effect ng unadjusted trial balance at lahat ng adjustments para po magkaroon tayo ng adjusted trial balance. Ibig sabihin, yung trial balance natin ay adjusted na. Okay? And then, ito po yung profit or loss na makakatulong sa atin uh, in the next lesson kung paano gumawa ng income statement. And ito naman po yung financial position columns na makakatulong sa atin pag gumawa na tayo ng statement of financial position or yung balance sheet. Okay? So, the first thing that we need to do is, kung maaalala nyo, may ginawa na tayong trial balance nung una bago tayo mag-adjusting entries. So, your very first step will be very, is just simple. Simply copy the unadjusted trial balance and the unadjusted trial balance column of the worksheet. Yun lang po. Kukopyahin nyo lang. Susulat nyo from cash hanggang gas and oil expense yung ating trial balance na ginawa dati. Okay? So, pwedeng pause nyo lang yung video, kopyahin nyo, or you can do it later. Pwede nyo panoorin yung video ng buong muna. No problem with that. Okay? So, when you are already done copying the unadjusted trial balance sa inyong unadjusted trial balance na columns in your worksheet, Dito na tayo ngayon sa adjustment. Madali lang din ang adjustment. Remember, meron tayong mga adjusting entries na ginawa. ba? Ito yung mga adjusting entries natin. So, ang gagawin lang natin dyan ay yung mga adjusting entries natin to, ipa-plot lang natin siya dito sa worksheet. Ganun lang. So, pagka-debit, dilalagay nyo sa debit. Pag-credit, dilalagay nyo sa credit. Ganun lang. Okay? So... Kapag ka po yung account title ay nandito na, doon na ninyo na lang siya ilalagay. Pero kapag ka po yung account title ay hindi po po natin kita dito, then that's the time that you put the account title dito po sa baba. Kasi may space pa naman tayo. Okay? So, copy-copy lang. Madali lang. Okay? First is debit interest expense. So, wala pa pong interest expense dito. So, pwede natin ilagay yan dito. So, paste natin. Debit interest expense amounting to 1,000. Wala pa rin pong interest payable. So, lalagay din po natin doon yung interest payable. Credit 1,000. O, yun na yun. Okay? So, we will be doing the same process in all of your adjusting entries. Debit depreciation expense, 25,000. Hindi na siya ini-indent, mga kapatid, ha? Okay. So, 25,000 here. And then, credit, accumulated depreciation for the automobile for 25,000. Okay? Hindi na po natin siya i-indent kasi ang mahalaga naman po kung sa debit, sa debit, kung sa credit, sa credit. Okay? We continue with letter C. Depreciation naman po ng ating office equipment. 
which amounts to 4,500. And then accumulated depreciation po niya is also 4,500. And then depreciation naman po ng ating furniture and fixture which is 10,000. And then, meron po tayong accumulated depreciation na 10,000. Di ba madali lang? Kinokopya ko lang yung adjusting entries. Okay. Next, we have is office supplies expense. Meron na po ba tayong office supplies expense dito? Siyempre, wala pa. So, lalagayin natin siya dito. Okay. So, debit office supplies expense amounting to 35,000. Okay, and then, meron na po tayong office supplies na account title dito. So, dyan na lang natin siya lalagay. Kay credit naman po natin, 35,000. Okay, and lastly, ah, hindi, hindi pa wala, sorry. Meron po tayong rent expense na 25,000, debit. So, may rent expense na ba dito? Wala pa. So, lalagay lang din natin, rent expense. And then, credit po tayo ng prepaid rent, 25,000. May prepaid rent na po tayo dito. So, dito po natin lalagay yung credit na 25,000. And then, debit unearned international travel fees na 638,000. So, ito po yun. Debit unearned international travel fees, 638,000. Ingay naman nung ano, nung tricycle. And then, we have uh, international travel fees earned na 638,000. Ito po yan. Credit Unearned International Travel Fees. O, di ba madali lang? Ganun lang. So, yung adjusting entries, kung paano po siya naka-debit or credit, ganun nyo lang din po siya ilalagay dito sa adjustment column. Tapos, uh, lalagay nyo lang din po ng total. So, dapat po ay, siya rin po ay papantay. Okay. After you have done the first four columns, ready ka na po sa adjusted trial balance. Pag adjusted trial balance, ikokombine na natin yung effect ng unadjusted trial balance at saka adjustment. Kung baga, ang mangyayari sa adjusted trial balance, i-adjust mo yung unadjusted trial balance kasi nga, in-adjust na natin, di ba? Nagkaroon tayong mga adjustment para yung ating mga account uh, balances ay magiging ready for the preparation of the financial report. So, ganito, katulad nyan, for example, yung cash. Wala namang adjustment sa cash, edi yun na yun. Okay? Pag wala namang apektadong adjustment, wala ka nang gagawin. Okay? You just simply copy. So, for cash, it's uh, still 4 million, 180,456. Also, for accounts receivable, we have no problem. Okay? Ang office supplies naman po natin ay may debit na 50,000 pero may credit na 35,000. Okay? So, 50,000 minus 35,000. Lalabas po yung remaining amount ng office supplies na 15,000. Ganun din po sa prepaid rent. 150,000 minus 25,000. Remaining prepaid rent at the end of April is 125,000. No changes in our automobile, although meron tayong accumulated depreciation mamaya. And then we also have your office equipment and your uh, furniture and fixtures. Okay? No changes also in your accounts payable. No changes in your notes payable. And then no changes in your unearned local travel fees. Okay, dito naman po sa ating unearned international travel fees naka-credit siya ng 638,000 pero may naka-debit na 638,000. Di ba na-earn na po yan? So, wala na po tayong liability na unearned international travel fees. Okay? And then, capital, 6 million. Then, we also have drawing of 30,000. Okay? Local travel fees earned, no adjustment. Then, dito naman po tayo sa international travel fees earned. Kung titignan niyo po mabuti, merong 194,440. Pero, in-adjust natin kasi may na-earn na tayo ng 638,000. Pareho nakakredit. So, i-add natin siya. Okay? I-add natin siya. So, 
ang adjusted balance mga ngayon ng international travel fees or NMOI, 832,340. Okay? And then, salaries expense, utilities expense, repairs and maintenance expense. Copy lang natin kapag ka wala po tayong uh, adjustment. And then, don't forget our babies here, our new adjustments here. So, kasama na po siya sa mga balance. Interest expense, interest payable, depreciation expense ng automobile, accumulated depreciation for your automobile, and then we also have depreciation for your office equipment, accumulated depreciation for your office equipment, and then uh, depreciation for furniture, and then accumulated depreciation for furniture, and then we also have your office supplies expense, and Okay, so as you can see, dapat din po papantay po siya. Okay, yung unadjusted trial balance ay yung ating initial trial balance na wala pang adjustment. Siyempre, magkakaroon ka ng adjusting entries, kaya gagawa ka ng adjusting entries. Poplot mo siya sa adjustment column. Ipacombine mo po ang effect ng dalawang ito, at ito na po yung ating adjusted trial balance. Ang adjusted trial balance po ay yung mga balance natin na pinaka-updated. At dahil pinaka-updated na siya, ready na tayong gumawa ng mga financial reports. Pero, para mas madaling gumawa ng financial reports, because a worksheet or a 10-column worksheet facilitates the preparation of financial reports to make it very, very easy to make. Okay? So, dito na tayo. Pop, uh, gagawin na natin yung uh, profit or loss and financial position columns. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin ay i-distinguish natin lahat ng account title na to kung revenue or expense siya or kung asset liability and capital. So, ganito na lang gawin natin para hindi nakakalito. Dito muna tayo sa profit and loss. Pag profit and loss, income statement. At kapag income statement, ang hahanapin lang natin dito lahat ng revenue at expense. Yun lang. Okay? Dahil income statement, eh, gusto natin malaman kung may net income tayo or net loss. Kung kumita ba tayo o nalimit. Asan ba yung starting point ng revenues and expenses natin? Di ba? Ito yun. Ayan, di ba? Kasi asset, tapos liabilities, capital drawing, revenue, tsaka expense. O di yun na. So, dito muna tayo magpo-focus. Yan ang revenues and expenses natin. Anong gagawin natin? Copy the balances lang. No problem with that. Pag sa credit, sa credit din. Pag sa debit, sa debit din. Okay? Local travel fees earned is a revenue. International travel fees earned is a revenue. And then, yung atin pong expenses. Salaries expense. Utilities expense. Repairs and maintenance expense. Organization expense at saka po gas and oil expense. Okay? Pero check natin kasi dito po sa ating adjustments, meron din po tayo dyang mga expenses. Katulad ng rent, ah, okay, sorry, interest expense. Ayan, expense po yan. Depreciation expense po ng ating automobile, expense din po yan. Depreciation din po ng ating office equipment, then depreciation po ng ating furniture, and, syempre, don't forget yung ating office supplies expense at saka rent expense. So, ganun lang kadali. So, ang gagawin mo ngayon, to-total mo yung credit, to-total mo yung debit. Hindi talaga yan mapapantay. So, ganito gagawin nyo. Pag tinotal mo yung credit, 905-600. Yan po ang lahat ng total revenue. Tapos, dito naman sa left side, yung debit, lahat po ito ng expenses. So, ang total expenses mo, 569,500 Iko-compare mo ngayon Ang revenue mo, 900,000 Ang expenses mo, 500,000 plus Mas malaki ang revenue kaysa sa expense So, itong uh, difference natin na 336,100 ay, syempre kumita tayo, hindi tayo nalugi Yan po ay, congratulations net income Tapos magpapantay na siya Pag in mo yung difference nitong dalawa, 336,100. So, revenue of 905,600 minus expenses of 569,500. Uh, it will give you an income of 336,100. Pag-abing mo yung dalawa para magpapantay siya sa baba.
Ganun lang, okay? O, pagkatapos mo na tong profit and loss na to, pwede ka nang gumawa ng income statement. Okay? Then, dito naman tayo sa financial possession. Sa financial possession naman, lahat ng asset, liabilities, capital. Sa asset, kasama po lahat ng contra-asset. Ganun lang din, madali lang to. Cash, 4,180,456. Account receivable, 77,776. Office supplies of 15,000. Prepaid rent of 125,000. Automobile of 3,200,000 And then yung office equipment, 300,000 And uh, your furniture and fixtures of 600,000 Yan na po yung assets ko sa upper portion And then liability, 2 million for accounts uh, payable And then we also have 100,000 for notes payable We also have unearned local travel fees for 51,632 Wala na po tayong unearned international travel fees Okay. And then your capital of 6 million and your drawing of 20,000. Local several fees earned po natin ay revenue account. So, na-account na natin siya dito sa profit and loss. Okay? So, since na-account na natin lahat ng revenue and expenses, dito na lang po tayo sa mga bandang adjustment area. Kasi may mga naiwan pa tayo dyan. Katulad ng interest payable. Liability po yan. Tapos, accumulated uh, depreciation ng ating automobile which is 25,000 remember accumulated depreciation is a contra asset account okay so part pa rin po siya ng financial possession and then yung ating pong accumulated depreciation sa office equipment and then yung accumulated depreciation po natin sa furniture and fixtures okay so kung mapapansin nyo pag dinotal nyo yung debit hindi pantay sa total ng credit. Pero pag inad nyo yung net income dito sa credit, magpapantay na siya sa baba. So, ang technique dyan, para malaman nyo kung tama yung ginagawa nyo, pag net income, magkalayo yan. Pag net loss, magkalapit yan. Okay? Nakakaintindihan tayo. So, ganyan lang po gumawa ng 10 column worksheet and you will, be, you, you will appreciate making a 10 column worksheet pag talagang sinagaan nyo siya na gawin manually. So, uh, please use a 10-column worksheet to practice or hindi po kaya meron din pong available sa handout na ganito po yung itsura. And then, uh, practice nyo po step by step kung paano natin ginawa. Our next lesson, we will be preparing financial statements from the 10-column worksheet. Okay, so we're ready to prepare financial reports. I hope you understand. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down in the comment section below. Thank you, and have a great day.